guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a DIY video for you. This is also in Spanish as it was a collaboration with a group of beautiful Spanish women here on YouTube. I really liked how it turned out and many of you seemed to like it when I posted a photo on Facebook so I decided to make one in English as well. Today with the help of my amazing mum we will be making little Christmas snowmen out of socks. Yes you heard correctly socks. They are so cute to add to your Christmas decorations or you could also make them for Christmas gifts. These snowmen are not difficult to make they are actually quite easy so let's go ahead and get started. First we are going to need socks. For the body you will need plain white socks and for the clothing you can choose any coloured or patterned socks that you like best. You are going to need scissors to cut all the bits and pieces. For your snowman's eyes you can use buttons, beads and what we found were little googly eyes that you can stick onto your snowman. Twine is a must in order to shape your snowman's body. As well as the patterned and coloured socks that you have chosen for the body, choose a fabric that you like best to make a cosy beanie for your little Frosty the Snowman. You will not be able to make this little bundle of joy without rice. Any type of rice will do the trick. Also, gather up some beads, buttons or sequences to make little buttons for the clothing. Last but not least, you need a hot glue gun. Now to get creative. Firstly, we will need to make the most important part of the snowman, the body. Take the white sock and cut off the top bit of the sock in the middle of the heel part and keep the foot. Now fill the sock up with rice and leave enough room up the top to tie twine around it to close it up. We are then going to make the head by squeezing the rice in order to leave the bottom part of the snowman bigger than the top, the smallest obviously being the head. Tie the twine between the head and the body so that the rice remains separated. Take the patterned sock that you have chosen for the clothing and cut off the heel and the toe of the sock. Slide the cut up sock over the snowman's body and roll up the bottom so that it looks like a little cosy top. To secure the top and the bottom of the coloured sock, tie some more twine around both ends. We are now going to make the beanie. Grab the other coloured sock and repeat the process of cutting off both ends. Tie some twine around the top of the beanie and make little cuts to the top of the sock to add some character to the beanie. Use the hot glue gun to secure the beanie into place. Be careful that you don't burn yourself. Okay, let's put this little man out of its misery and give him some eyes, shall we? Mum and I have used these little googly eyes for our snowman, but as you can see on the other snowman that Mum made, one has buttons for eyes and the other one has sequences. You can use whichever one you like best. Now we will take our coloured fabric to make a little scarf. Cut the fabric into shape and tie it around the neck. Glue down the ends of the scarf. Now for the makeshift carrot nose. We forgot to show this at the beginning of the video, but for the nose you will need a toothpick and a red or orange texture. Cut the toothpick a little less than halfway and colour it using the texture. Using the hot glue gun, stick the nose onto the snowman. Let's add some finishing touches and make our snowman even more stylish. Cut a strip of the fabric that you used for the scarf in order to tie around the top of the beanie and cut the ends of the fabric at an angle to give it a little bit of shape. Take some beads and sequences and add them to your snowman. I will fast forward this with some Christmas music so that you can see how we decorated our snowman. You can do as we do or you can use your own ideas. Get creative! Thank you so much for watching guys. If you guys enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up to let me know that you enjoy watching these DIY videos and it also helps share my channel. 
Also, if you have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do so by hitting the subscribe button down below to keep updated with my uploads. If you have made one of your own little snowman using my DIY video, please post them on Instagram and use the hashtag BellaLovesSnowman so that I can view them. I would really love to see your creations. Until next time guys, adios!